Hey everyone, this is Paul, Diehard RC Addicts. Uh, welcome back for the uh, Hovercraft Project Part 3. Uh, basically, we're going to pick up where we left off in Part 2. Um, we finished up pretty much the initial test driving of the Hovercraft. Um, it appeared to be kind of unstable. It was uh, doing a lot of rocking and rolling, especially in the high winds out at the uh, big parking lot we tested it out. Um, I'm not totally um, going to be abandoning this uh, hovercraft and starting all over. I think we're going to try and do some modifications to the existing one that I have. Um, hopefully to see if we can improve it. So let's take a closer look at the hovercraft and uh, I'll discuss the uh, modifications that I'm going to do. And after that we'll actually get into making the modifications and hopefully back out for another uh, test run of the hovercraft. So let's get started and see how it all goes. Okay guys, let's take a quick close look at the uh, hovercraft, how it is now. Um, basically, one of the major issues that we did have also with the hovercraft, it was actually picking up a lot of rocks. I don't know if you can see them here on the sides. It actually kind of tore it up pretty good. Um, the rocks are getting inside here, hitting the prop and chewing up the prop. You can see that there. And getting shot off the prop and shooting into the side of this kind of fan tower here. Uh, so that's going to be one of the problems that I'm going to be working on to try and fix. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to use some sort of screen material to go over the top that will hopefully uh, protect the uh, fan from the top side and on the bottom side I'm going to be doing kind of a, a modification that's going to hopefully help cure kind of the rolling issue that we had and also protect the fan uh, from rocks coming up from the bottom um, basically my idea is I'm going to be taking another piece of foam um, it's going to be roughly about the same size as the top of the deck here Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some spacers um, and I'm going to attach this other layer of foam kind of to the bottom of the bottom layer of this foam. And it's going to be kind of a solid deck that is almost the same size of the main deck of the hovercraft. And I'm going to leave a space under it, uh, probably about an inch and a half to two inches. So what that's going to do, hopefully, is uh, what I'm hoping to do is going to create like a big air duct underneath the whole um, main board of the hovercraft and the air pressure is going to go in there and it's going to be deflected hopefully out to the sides and then air up the skirt okay and basically the other layer is going to be hanging down like I said probably an inch and a half two inches so that'll get the actual kind of thickness of the main part of the hovercraft a little thicker and on the very bottom of that other layer I'm probably going to have like um, two points on each side where I'm actually going to velcro or attach the bottom of the skirt to that new layer that's going on there. So um, basically, uh, hopefully, I'm not sure that's real clear what I just said there, but uh, we're going to get into the modifications. We'll take a look at it, and I'll show you how I'm going to work it, and we'll see if it works. <laughs> if it works, hopefully that'll be good. If not, then I may start over with the whole brand new hovercraft. So let's get started with all the uh, modifications and see how it goes. Okay, guys, I got some of the parts cut out. Uh, basically, this is going to be the bottom base plate that I'm going to be gluing on to the hovercraft. Okay, so I put some spacers on here. These are uh, basically two layers thick, so that's roughly about an inch thick. Um, this part's going to glue up to the bottom of the hovercraft. And then the fan is basically going to be right around here. And it's going to blow down and hopefully hit this plate, and then the air will get pushed out to the sides. Um, through these little duct areas and hopefully that will go into the skirt area and then kind of wrap back around underneath and fill up the hovercraft from below. So my hopes is that this will protect the uh, fan from the bottom because it won't be directly down to the asphalt or whatever we're driving on um, but it still will hopefully allow the air to go through this duct work um, to fill up the bottom pocket. So let me get all these pieces glued in there then we'll glue it onto the bottom of the hovercraft then we'll test it out. Okay guys, here's a quick look. Um, I pretty much got this kind of air duct system all finished and it's attached on the bottom. As you can see, I've got the little risers that uh, hold off the bottom layer a little bit from uh, the opening. So basically there's kind of like a big air duct now underneath the hovercraft. So it forces the air to come out towards the edges. So it'll fill up the skirt and then back around to the bottom of the hovercraft and hopefully lift it up. Um, but as you can see from the top here, now there's a big piece of foam directly below the fan. So hopefully that will protect it from any rocks bumping up back towards it. And next I'm going to be putting a screen over the top of this. So hopefully that will protect any uh, rocks going in through the top. Um, the back prop still be open so that one will be uh, apt to get maybe hit by a few rocks. But I don't think that one was as bad as the uh, one that was on the lift fan. 
Okay, here's a look from the direct bottom side. <laughs> as you can see, it's getting kind of beat up from uh, the other video runs I did. Um, but basically, I just kind of threw it together real quick. Um, I actually had to divide it up into three sections to be able to get it on since I already had the skirt on. So that made it a little bit easier. So I sliced it in uh, three portions and then I just glued it all back together and put some tape over um, where the cuts were and there's also a hot glue in between that. Hopefully that will somewhat seal it. Um, but basically that will make it kind of almost like a flat bottom boat too. So hopefully it will work good when I uh, try it on the water if we get that far. So we're going to again test it out on the uh, asphalt first see how it handles and then um, if it's handling good then I might dare to try it on the water okay guys one of the other modifications that I did on the uh, bottom of the skirt of the hovercraft basically I just created some anchors um, out of some strapping tape and I just hot glued them down with a piece of wood um, basically this will hopefully prevent the uh, hovercraft skirt from blowing out too far um, but it still will give it enough you know uh, flexible um, properties so hopefully it'll still you know be able to ride over um, different types of surfaces. So hopefully that'll cure the uh, problem I had with the skirt blowing out too far and uh, letting uh, more air out of one side and hopefully that'll help keep the hovercraft a little more even too if we uh, kind of keep the air pressure hopefully a little closer to even on both sides. So um, that's the theory anyway. Um, I just threw it together. It's not the greatest looking thing on the bottom there but um, this is just a real quick test concept that I'm going to try out. Okay guys, on the top side of the hovercraft there's also one other modification I did. Um, basically I picked up some of this uh, fiberglass screen material from uh, Walmart. I've actually had it for quite a while. I was going to use it for some other stuff. But um, basically it worked out pretty good. I created just a little cover that goes over the uh, fan tower here. Um, so hopefully it will keep all the rocks out. So hopefully the fan tower prop will be okay and not get damaged anymore. Okay guys, we're back out here at the... Uh, test parking lot area. Um, I put some real quick covers on. I just velcroed down on both sides so now it'll be kind of sealed up uh, for later if it works out then maybe I might try and take it on the water but probably not in this video. Um, we're back out at the parking lot. The wind has been gusting up to about 11 miles an hour so it might be a little rough ride but we're going to test it out see if it does any better than uh, last week. Looking squirrely, man. Yeah. It is pretty windy, but it's still whoa. Yeah, it's still windy out here. <laughs> Okay guys, hey, we went out to the main parking lot, but it was too windy out there, so I'm going to run it up and down here, our residential streets here, because the houses are blocking the wind. Um, we'll try it out and see how it runs here. Remember you're heading into the wind this yeah. way now.
have enough lift? <laughs> <laughs>